Okay, we're here with uh, WBC uh, Super Lightweight Champ Devin Alexander. Yep. Okay, Devin, uh, welcome to Cancun. How are you enjoying your time here so far at the WBC convention? This is my first time here. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. And it's exciting to be here amongst the WBC people. And it's great. It's great. I feel good. You're here with uh, your promoter, Don King, your trainer, uh, Kevin Cunningham. Uh, already where everybody's talking about your upcoming fight with uh, your counterpart, WBO champ, uh, Timothy Bradley. Uh, you're looking forward to that? Definitely. Definitely. I mean, this fight can determine who will become the superstar and who will become... Um, just a, a fighter, so this is going to be a big fight right before the Super Bowl, and I'm excited. Now this fight has been brewing since uh, the WBC's convention uh, two years ago in yeah. Chengdu, China, when right. you were the mandatory yeah. contender, and uh, Bradley had asked for a, a chance to fight Kendall Holt to unify the titles, and uh, uh, he ended up giving up the WBC belt, and you ended up win winning the vacant title. So this is uh, there's a bit of uh, history to this right, uh, fight right. building I mean, up. It's, it's a long journey. It's a long journey. First he said he gave up the belt, then I, I won the belt from Junior Winter. Then he said we need to let it marinate a little bit more. So now it's time. I mean, no more excuses. We got to get in the ring now. I think it's, it's just right though, right now. Now, uh, unfortunately, uh, this uh, uh, unification match coming up, um, it would have been for three of the four belts in that division. You had beat uh, uh, Juan Arango and you had the IBF belt. And uh, tell us a little bit about what happened there. Well, I, with you not I, having the belts yeah, anymore. Yeah, I, I'm really not sure what happened. I mean, my people wasn't contacted upon the WBC. Uh, I mean, not the WBC, IBF. Um, doing a uh, purse bid, we, we didn't know nothing about it. He went on and did it without us. So, I mean, it just, it just it is what it is. I mean, I love the IBF. I love all the belts that I got. I worked hard to get them, but I got to do what I got to do. So it's a, a little disappointing that politics uh, takes away a little bit, but really it's, this is about the matchup with you and Bradley, two undefeated uh, champions. Um, first of all, uh, going back to your last fight against Andre Kotelnik, uh, from my point, and I think the point of a lot of viewers, that was one tough yeah. fight. Yeah. Would you say yeah. that was your toughest uh, yeah. fight so far? I, I, it was tough because I made it tough. You know, I wasn't following the game plan, and I wasn't listening to my coach, and I let the crowd overhype me a little bit. And uh, being in front of your fans? Yeah, yeah, and I wasn't following the game plan like I used to do. And you saw the result of that, you know, I made the fight look tougher than what it was. Okay. Uh, did you give uh, your opponent credit at all that he had, he did bring something uh, to the definitely, table? And, definitely. Uh, I told him it was a good fight. He came to work. And I, I knew he was going to come to work because uh, this this fight with him was either he win or he go back home and he wanted to win. So okay. uh, he wanted to make his presence known. I knew he was going to come with that, but I think I got the victory. In what does uh, Bradley bring to the uh, table that uh, some of the other champions don't or maybe some of the other other opponents that you face don't. Uh, what's special about him that you'll have to prepare for? Well, he's gonna come at me all night. He's gonna be, he gonna be, be prepared to fight 12 rounds, and, which is fine with me. Uh, he, he's, he's more, um, more of a cockier type person, build person, to have a fault. Um, but he's gonna come to work. I already know he's gonna come to work. Um, Nothing different than I, I see in Bradley's skills that okay? he's going to bring to the table. He's just a fighter just like I am, and it's going to be a good fight. How do you uh, how do you see the fight going in terms of what he brings and what your skills are? Um, do you see it as a, a fight where you're going to have to use speed, movement, uh, power? Or, it's, going to be a, it's, going to be, it's going to be a bit of all of that, speed and power. But I'll tell you one thing, it's going to be easy. Were you... Um, were you motivated a bit when he did end up fighting Kendall Holt in that fight and Holt dropped him pretty hard in the first round and were you surprised at how he got up from that punch? Yeah, I'm, I'm a firm believer that um, things happen for a reason and uh, I think it's happening now because it's, 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 it's supposed to happen and everything happened for a reason. I'm glad I saw that. I'm glad I saw he got a kind of a shaky chin. Um, so, excuse me. So, it, 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 it's, it, it ha stuff happened for a reason, I think. So, I'm mm -hmm. glad I, I watched it. Uh, now, and uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the uh, the other remaining champion in the division, Amir Khan? Have you seen him fight, first of all? Yeah, he's average. Yeah? Yeah, he's an average fighter. I mean, he, talk, he talks a lot, but I, I really think he fought like, fight like an amateur. So, now, he's... Uh, 
He's obviously been down several times in right, his career, right, and you, right, you've seen right, that. Right. So uh, should that matchup ever materialize? Does that give you uh, something to definitely I, look for? I don't for? think he's going to want to fight the winner. The, me, he, he's not going to want to fight me or Bradley. He just talks a lot. You know, he, he wants to go after the big fish without you know the hard work that. You know, Do you see him that. getting past uh, uh, Marcos Madonna? Um, not if, he, not if he's trying to plan on standing there, like you said in the interviews, to stay there and try to punch with him. No, I don't see him going 12. Yeah. I see him getting Kato. Okay, well, listen, good luck in January. Enjoy the rest of the convention. Okay, we look thanks. forward to seeing you. Thank you. Hello.